How old are those skates? They're chirping me because of my skates. I mean, they're not. I... They're classics. They're what? They're old school. Swedish. Swedish, no finish. You missed the net. My mom, she's played hockey for, she probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but probably like 40 years, I'd say. Some of my earliest memories are at the ice rink, watching her play, and me and my three brothers running around the rink. You know, growing up, every year you had a dad scrimmage against the team, and I always thought it was just so cool that my mom was out there playing, and that was kind of some of our experiences. We got to be on the ice together. I've been playing for 43 years. I started playing, I think, when I was seven and a half, eight. So I've played in a few different leagues over the years. I do play competitively with a team from New Jersey, and we go to nationals. It was tough raising the three of them, getting them everywhere. I really relied on my parents with getting three different boys to three different ice arenas at three different times. And I've always worked two or three jobs, but you just do what you gotta do. Obviously it isn't easy raising three kids on your own and the sacrifices she had to give. Missing her Friday, Saturday nights, bringing my brothers places. That's something I just I always remember. <laughs> wow. You lifted that one. Pop, pop. Growing up at the ice rink a lot, obviously with my brother. My grandparents helped out tremendously, helping out my mom with especially how active me and my brother's uh, hockey schedule was. If uh, one of us needed to be somewhere, obviously only my mom could take us, so my grandparents stepped up. My grandparents are retired, so luckily they get to come to every game. Those are little things I cherish. I was always go green type of guy. I like the blue collar that Michigan State brings. I kind of always resonated with that. My first college hockey game I ever been to was actually here at Mon. I was watching my older brother play when he was on Ohio State and just watching that atmosphere, I kind of just fell in love with it. Being on a hockey team is something that you can't replicate anywhere else. Just being here at Michigan State, I've built lifelong memories and lifelong friends that I'm going to remember forever that they're going to be in my wedding or going to hopefully be at my funeral. Just the camaraderie we have. Hockey brings you that bond and that's something that I don't think you can replicate anywhere else. The beauty thing about hockey is there's so many different ways to play it and players have different styles and I definitely have a little bit of edge to my game. And Wilson went careening into the boards. Edgar Joshua with a turnover and Doogie gets lit up. York is bulldozed out of the ice by Jagger Joshua. It's awesome to have Jagger as a teammate. I think Jagger's intensity helps us a lot because he's at his best when he's like talking and hitting guys and everything. And I think that's a really important key to our team, you know, that we have that X factor in our team. So it's a, it's a big part of our team. Jagger can set a tone for a game, and I, I remember we had a certain game on, on Saturday night, and Jagger in his first two shifts had you know three or four big hits and got in on the four check and created a couple scoring chances. And talking to the guys after that, they said after we watched Jagger's first two shifts, we knew we were going to win the hockey game. That's impactful. He's big and he's strong. His puck pursuit is really good, and when you're influencing guys and when they see your energy and they feed off that, that that's a special thing, and, and Jagger has that. I definitely think my, my physical and aggressive play style brings energy to the team. Just me going out and finishing my checks or doing the little things gets the guys going. My mom, I definitely think she has a little edge to her too, but I think, I don't know, she's a little soft to me, so I don't know if she is as aggressive as me, but she definitely has a little more skill and she can skate, so I give her that. I love Jagger's style of play. He's aggressive, but he's so defensive-minded too. I love watching him forecheck and that reach, and he's just reading the ice. People always ask that, like if I fight or like do, no, not with these teeth and nails, no, I do not. I score goals, so he's got his thing, I have mine. Okay, that was, that was I, good. I, you're supposed to sell you there. What? Oh, it's... Oh, <laughs> oh no.
with my older brother. Us both playing hockey at a high level, and hockey's definitely strengthened our bond together. My brother is someone I can have daily conversations with about life and just hockey, and he took a similar path, and everything that I'm going through currently, he's been through. That's a tremendous help in getting me through it, I guess, and it is always nice I got somebody to talk to. I watch his dreams like, become reality. Now look at, they're gonna go here. A little scrap going on here by the youngster, Dakota Joshua, his first scrap in the NHL. I remember one of his first couple games, I, was, I went to my grandparents' house, watching with my grandparents, him on TV, and it kinda put in perspective about how far he's came and just where I wanna be, I guess, and that's a little extra motivation I get to have every day. One day, hopefully, I can uh, make it next one. I think Jagger looks up to Dakota. Deep down, they're best buds, always there for each other. And whether they show it at home or not, they're really proud of each other. I think they have a great relationship. One of the biggest things I think hockey's taught me is discipline. You know, just having that work ethic to get better each and every day, even if it's a small fraction. And, that's even something I can bring to my everyday life and just trying to become a better person each and every day. It's been a long journey from sitting at my games in the stands to now playing D1 college hockey. I'm proud, but I'm also proud of his grades. He grew up to be a good man. He's a really good kid and I'm super proud of him. I sometimes even get a little blurry vision about how far I've really come. Two kids that got raised by a single mom and a low-income household in Dearborn, Michigan, probably don't have the best odds to play a Division I sport. I know after every game, I, I get to come up and see my grandparents and my mom, and they always have a smile on their face. It's just the little things, I guess, that make you realize how uh, grateful you are. All right, hit me, hit me, hit me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like that. Right. Yeah. <laughs>